why did you do that? Was it to keep Kate, who you are, separate to, to what you were doing for money? Yes, well, um, I took on a fake name the way you do when you're in a pub and yeah, some right. dreadful old boozy bore comes along and says, hi, sweetheart, mm. what's your name? And you go, oh, hi, I'm Alison or yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Sandra. Or, so it was just like that. It just came out of my mouth and I went, you know, hi, um, this is my name. And everyone uses a fake name yeah, working. Right. And most of the clients use fake names. They all think it's hilarious because they all call themselves John. Oh, dear. Like, I'm a John. They all think this is the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> And the women sweet, um, yeah, and, and and so it is. It is, it is t- t- taking on a persona, and then it's helped by um, wearing lots of makeup that mm. I wouldn't normally have worn, and wearing kind of clothes that I would never have worn. I'd never worn high heels before, and I had to borrow a pair of high heels which didn't fit me; they were way too big. So I was clumping around <laughs> in these terrible old things, which would hardly stay on my feet, and tottering, you know. But I had to get used to all of it really fast because yeah. that's uh, that's part of the the, the kind of the drama of it yeah, you know right, men walk yeah. into a brothel and they want to see high heels and 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 bare skin and and yeah. lamp light and black leather couches and all that stuff that's what they want to see and who's in charge there is it is it does it go like there's a madam and then she pays you at the end of your shift or yeah you know in modern australia they're not really called madams what they're just they? receptionists yeah right right <laughs> right a manager right. you yeah. know it's like everywhere else so, so there's a there's someone who owns the place someone who runs it and someone who's the receptionist okay and um, what happens is in legal brothels sex workers are subcontractors so we work for ourselves mm-hmm. um, and the brothel is really more like a hotel service it's like an accommodation and administration ah, okay. service so they take a certain percentage of the money yeah. to cover those costs. Okay, right. And then what we do in our service is actually our business. Yeah. But for um, efficiency reasons, the receptionist takes all the money from the client and then disperses our share of it to us later right. in the evening, minus things like GST, food allowance, if you bought takeaway food and they pay uh, for it. Right, right, right. And the kind of all these kind of little levies and things. Yeah, it's okay, kind of quite yeah. fiddly. Yeah. Um, so they stand there, you know, and there's usually, yes, a madam or a receptionist who, who kind of hosts the clients and, and makes sure that they feel nice and comfortable and get some glass of orange juice or whatever. Um, and then there are the ladies and they work basically as independent contractors. And mm. at that time you were making a fortune, really, from it, weren't you? At, at points well, you relatively. Were, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'd yeah. I'd been a bookseller before that. Yeah. $14 an hour. 